Good morning, guys. Thanks for taking a few moments to join me. Uh, I brought you two together because I wanted to talk about the EV car charger market uh, to get some market perspective. Emilio, what's happening in the module world? Certainly. Uh, so the biggest thing that we're seeing is still a migration towards 1,000 volts. Uh, really, you need to have the higher voltage to get the higher power. If you have a higher current, typically it means the cables need to be bigger, and that's very difficult for people to work with into, the, uh, into their car. Another trend that we're seeing is integration of EV charging with energy storage and solar as well. And on top of that, we're seeing a lot of modularity. Uh, especially in that 25 to 50 kilowatt range, they were taking those power modules and stacking them on top of each other to make them up to greater powers. And what that does is it really gives them an economy of scale on those power modules, uh, which helps them really bring the cost down as much as possible. Um, Timo, help us understand the scope now of, uh, of the e-car charger market. I think there are some new new things popping up uh, in the power range. Especially we see some um, differentiation in the, in the use cases, um, the, the, the market broaden up and we see um, use cases from 20 kilowatt uh, DC wall boxes, still the maturity is 50 kilowatt uh, standard, then uh, going up to 150 kilowatt that the majority of the cars are capable of charging, and then 350 kilowatt for the high-end passenger cars. But then also if you talk about bus and truck charging, uh, it goes even beyond 350 to 400 or 500 kilowatt. Is that what you're targeting with the stacks? Last year we talked at the PCIM about the 50 kilowatt stack. What, what's your focus here with the stack? Exactly. For the power cell, we, have, we chose the 50 kilowatt power rating because that is really the, the optimal way or the optimal configuration. And it's easy to stack up to um, three in parallel for 150 kilowatt, 350 kilowatt up to seven in parallel. That's an optimum way to really support our customers to build up their high power charging portfolio. So Emilio, if we think about the customers that you're focused on, what do they look like? So from a power modules perspective, uh, really these are people that know quite a bit about power electronics and they're taking a, say, industry standard module such as our Simitop E2, putting it on a heat sink, adding the driver board, adding the controls, the transformers and so forth. And these types of people really need flexibility with their design. So they're looking at the bi-directional charging or integration with other types of renewables and they meet, need something like silicon carbide or multi-level topologies and so forth. So if you're looking for that and you need a power module, come to us. So same is valid for, for higher integrated products. We are using the power module of Semicron for the 50 kilowatt power cell because we also believe that the flexibility and the performance of the product is, is, is outstanding. But we are targeting customers who really want to focus on their charge control, on the integration of the whole system and getting the, the, the chargers as soon as possible into the field um, and for also for the different portfolio 50 kilowatt up to 350 kilowatt they really can use the power cell just plug and play so here we also encourage talk to us semicron is the expert um, for modules but also for higher integrated products so from both of you i guess that's a very clear message talk to us guys thanks for taking the time this morning thank, thank you, you.